In this video we're going to work on more complicated circuit designs. So I have a light bulb, I have two light bulbs, each of which we want to give 5 volts and 0 0.25 amps. And remember we may add one and only one resistor if necessary. Alright, so I have 9 volts to use starting at the positive end of my battery. So I'm going to connect to the first light bulb. Now I know I have 4 volts remaining and that's not enough voltage to connect to light bulb number two. If there was enough, I would just connect those together, but I can't in this case. So I do need to add a resistor. Now this resistor, I want to be able to use my remaining four volts so I can connect back to the battery. So I'm going to use a different color, so I'm going with green to connect the light bulb from to the resistor, and then I always use blue to finish my routes and connect back to the battery. All right, so let's go ahead and start and connect to light bulb 2. Now the problem is I'm not allowed to add another resistor and I still have 4 volts remaining. So I can actually use that same resistor and connect to the green wire. So the green wire, remember that these different colors of wires represent different voltages and in both cases after I came out of the light bulb I had 4 volts remaining so I used the same wire and connected them together so both routes now take me through that resistor. Alright, so we have one answer so far that for the resistor we want it to use 4 volts. Let's take a look at what's happening to the current. So I know some current comes out of the battery and that current's going to split. I know that 0 0.25 amps had to go into light bulb 2 and 0 0.25 amps go into light bulb 1. That means to figure out my total current I could add those together and get 0 0.50 amps. Alright, now I know these currents through light bulb 1 is going to continue around and the current through light bulb 2 is also going to continue through light bulb 2 and around. Now these currents are going to come back together and rejoin here and all of that 0 0.50 amps is going to travel through the resistor and back around to the battery. So for the resistor I can put 0 0.50 amps then I can use Ohm's law which can be rearranged and written as R equals V divided by I and that tells me that I needed that to be an 8 ohm resistor. Alright, let's take a look at our next problem. So in this problem, we have two bulbs. First one wants to receive 8 volts and 0 0.32 amps. Next one, 1 volt and 0 0.04 amps. I always recommend doing these problems by making the voltages work first and then worrying about the current later. So I have currents going to come out of the battery. I connect to one end of the light bulb. I know I have 1 volt remaining. Since that is the voltage of light bulb 2, I'm going to go ahead and connect to light bulb 2 and then finish my route. So I've made a route and the voltage works on that route. We used all 9 volts, but the problem is that our current doesn't work out. So we know that coming out of the battery, I have current, and that current I need 0 0.32 amps to go into light bulb 1 but I can only get 0 0.04 amps going into light bulb 2. So somehow we have to get rid of some current because I have 0 0.32 amps coming out of light bulb 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a way to divert some of this current. So that remaining current 0 0.28 amps needs to take a different direction. So I can't go back to the battery until I've used all my voltage, so I'm going to add a resistor right here. And at that resistor, I know that 0.28 amps is going to go through there. I'm going to use the remaining volt and then connect back and finish out the route. Alright, so in this problem, the voltage for the resistor is going to be 1 volt. The current flowing through the resistor is 0 0.28 amps that we tried to divert away from light bulb 2. That makes the resist uh, the resistance itself. I would do R equals V divided by I. So 1 divided by 0 0.28. 
gives us 3.57 ohms would be what that resistor would have to be and our total current coming out of the source is going to be 0 0.32 amps. Alright, let's take a look at our last example problem. So in this one, um, I have three light bulbs getting 5 volts, 4 volts, and 4 volts respectively. So again, let's go ahead and draw our wires and just make sure that our voltage works out. We'll worry about the current later. So in light bulb 1, I've used 5 volts. I have 4 volts remaining. That means I can just attach to light bulb 2. Now I've used 9 volts. We'll worry about the current later. And I can come back to the negative end of the battery. Now for light bulb 3, I have 4 volts there, so I'm trying to figure out a way to use all 9 volts, and I think, okay, I don't want to add a resistor yet, I'm just I'm trying to make the voltage work without adding any resistor. So I'm going to branch off, after I go through the 5 volts, I'm going to branch off, go through this 4 volts, and then come back. So I have 2 routes, and on each route I've all used all 9 volts. So the current coming into light bulb 1 is 0 0.2 amps. Going into light bulb 2 is 0 0.16 amps. And I know that to go into light bulb 3, I also need 0 0.16 amps. So we've got a problem at this intersection right here. So I have 0 0.20 amps coming into it, but I have, I need 0 0.32 to come out because I have these two 0.16's. So I need more current because right now I only have 0.20 amps coming in. So what I can do is I know that somehow I need another I need the same amount of current to come into that intersection as go out so I need another 0.12 amps. So if I put a resistor right here, then I can connect right there and make my voltage work out. So I basically just put it in parallel with light bulb 1, and so 5 volts, that way no matter what route I trace around I'm going to use 9 volts. And we can just do the math from here, so I needed a total of 0 0.32 amps to come out of the battery and 0 0.12 went through the resistor. So let's fill those out. The voltage for the resistor was 5 volts and the resistor itself we do V divided by I so 5 divided by 0.12 gives me 41.7 ohms.